What's going on everybody? This is Will, Byron Still Barbecue. Thanks for watching yet another video. I haven't run you off yet. I'm here for something good today. So I got my wife with me today and we're not going to cook food. Uh, Monica, say hi. Hi, Monica. Hey everybody, it's my wife, Monica. So today we're going to go through a little tutorial on how to make um, fire starters. So we use them all the time, we buy them, little tumbleweeds or sticks or anything, but my wife's been making them for me. Uh, and, I don't know, white, they're pretty easy to make, right? Yeah. All right, so what do we need to make them? Okay, so uh, first of all, I have my own channel, Sets and Bees. It's all about crafts, soaps, and lotions. Um, so what we're going to use are little paper cups. Most of the stuff you can find at the dollar store. Uh, paper cups. Uh, We've got a, a candle that you get at the dollar store, so we it just melted off. some wax. Wax, let's see. It went off. It's okay. So we've got a candle you get at the dollar store. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go to hell for melting that wax, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we've got some, some paper cups that you get from the dollar store. Okay, so what are we doing here? And then we're also going to use uh, some hamster bedding. And we're, that's what's gonna light the start fire starter on fire. Where do you get the hamster bedding? Uh, you can get it at any feed store or hamster store. Or hamster store. Go to the hamster store. store. Feed store, I don't know, would Home Depot or something have that? Um, you know, I got this from a friend about ten years ago. <laughs> and he, it was already open and look at how much I've used and I've given a lot of I usually make these for Christmas. Alright. Well, let's get to it. So what you want to do is also is protect your area because this is wax and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to get it out. So I have a tablecloth from the dollar store. I have a tray and parchment paper. You don't need a tray, but if you're just going to leave it there, uh, but if you want to move it to a different location, then it's just better to have a tray. All right, so I'm just laying these down. And hopefully, I don't know how much that will fill on here. So what are we going to do? Are we going to fill it with wax first? No. Hamster bedding. The hamster first. bedding, yeah. Hamster bedding. All right, let's do this. All right, hamster bedding. Okay, so you want to... Let's do this. And you want to... And you, you, don't, you can't throw it like that. It doesn't work that way because you want to pack it a little bit. Okay. So... Well, let's see how much we get in here and then we'll pack it a little bit. Usually just... Do one by one. Right. And you're probably going to use some of this if you want to get it out of the way before you put the wax. Because uh, once you start putting the wax, um, all this kind of shrinks down. Right, so fill it all the way up as much as you can. So you may not thing. have enough wax for all the use of it. Okay. We'll see how far we get. Um, and you don't don't use soy wax. Don't use your good wax for this. Your good wax? Uh, you know the soy industry started this rumor that, uh, not glycerin. Did I say glycerin earlier? Uh, yeah. paraffin. The paraffin wax was is really bad and blah blah blah. But uh, you can link to a video that describes everything to you if you want, if people want to watch it. This guy goes in detail about all the waxes and it's just a big rumor started by the, the soy industry. Big soy conspiracy. Yeah, okay. So we want to use paraffin wax. Paraffin wax, not glycerin. See, I make so much soap that I started. Is there a glycerin wax? No. <laughs> uh, well, if you can find glycerin wax. <laughs> then you want to put your up glove because that's really hot. Okay, so first off, we've got a wick in here somewhere. Right? Yeah, you have a wick in there, and if I want to reuse this, so just put it in here if you can't take it out with the wick beaker. Okay, this is hot. It's not. Okay, I got my wick. Okay, so if you look at the wick. I'm going to need oh, no, John. I'm sorry. The little metal part of the wick is still in there. So there's a little metal part that holds the wick. Um, down that you can glue it to your container. That's the reason why you never want to melt your wax in the microwave. I mean, it's up to you, but trust me, you don't want to do it. If you do, video it. Yeah, if you I'd do, like video. to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how much am I putting? Hold on, my hands are too big for these stupid things. 
All right, so how much am I putting in each just one? Just try and, and see how much, just play it by ear. Just kind of fill it up, huh? Fill it up. Let's see how you want to start adding more. Because it starts weighing it down. Don't, don't fill it up too much because you want enough for all of them. Okay, so kind of ease up a little bit. Yeah. But you want to make sure that you get so the stuff doesn't come out. So I'm getting a little low already. Yeah, I told you we're not going to make enough for this. Okay, get these before they dry. Okay. Yeah, the wax doesn't goes by quick. That's why I like going to the dollar store and getting the dollar candles. Okay. Okay, so a little bit more here. I don't know. I think that's it. So one candle looks like it made two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve small ones. Twelve. Because there's bigger ones. ones. Yeah. For Christmas, I usually use the bigger cups. These are plenty big enough for, you know, putting underneath the chimney. So this will this will last me, I don't know, a month or two. And what we spent one dollar on the candle. One dollar on the candle. One dollar for these. Dollar for those. Yeah. I actually, we only used half of them, so like fifty cents. And I don't know how much this cost. I mean, I've had it ten years. Seriously, you see how much we used. And now what do we do? We just let Ooh, it. Oh, don't don't touch the wax. It's gonna burn you. I got wax all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> here's my here's my wick. I'm gonna name him John. <laughs> John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> And then you just let them sit um, for a few hours and, and they're done. And once they're done, um, you're going to have some loose stuff. So you want to like shake it off and then they're done. Off the top of me? Yeah. Don't, don't squish them in too much because you want... I'm just going on the top. I don't want to get any more. But you also want oxygen for your fire. Oh, you don't? So you don't want to pack them too tight so they catch and they burn nicely. All right. So if you need some fire starters, you know... What was that, a dollar fifty, and you've got a couple months worth? Cool, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, bye.